Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hi, dear friends. Today we are back again with our beautiful book by the Spirit Emmanuel, Rishika Shavir, Living Spring. Today we're going to read chapter 85. And we are thankful again to be together so that we can again have a new um, inspiration by Emmanuel. Obstacles. Let us throw off every impediment in sin that surround us and let us run with perseverance the race before us. And it's Paul in Hebrews 12 verses 1. The great apostle to the Gentiles described the Christian endeavor as a race of the soul in the grand stadium of life. Of course, by resorting to this image, he had the Greek games of his time in mind, and so, without mentioning the enthusiasm and the healthy emulation that should persist over such an effort, let us recall only the initial act of the competition from um, competitors. Each participant would shed his usual outer clothing in order to compete, wearing apparel that was as light as possible. Thus, in the um, acquisition of eternal life, it is also crucial for us to rid ourselves of the clothing that suffocates the spirit. Let's just stop there. This is a beautiful explanation by Emmanuel. And he uses the games and to be um, in, you know, to do um, some, some sort of sport as an example. And if you see, if you are a swimmer, you use also as light as possible clothes that the water won't hold you back. And if we are going to look at what Emmanuel is going to tell us further, we would see and we would think about where he's going to take us now. Because the deadline says obstacles. So let's open our minds. And see this in our in our imagination that our hearts must be made light by in eliminating every useless burden. So this is the first example. So we should rid ourselves of burdens. And how are we going to do that? We're going to look at ourselves and our feelings and on a daily basis, we're going to use affirmations, use everything that we can get so that we can let go of all these hard emotions that we sometimes carry around. For example, sometimes somebody will do something and make, and we will get upset. But how do we get rid of this feeling of of disappointment that we have? And it can happen in our own families as well. If we look at this feeling that we sometimes um, accumulate in our thought process, in ourselves, that is what Emmanuel is telling us that we should get rid of. <clears throat> that we should get rid of. And we should constantly work on our thought process. If there's a thought coming in that is too heavy for us, and we will know when it is, because we will feel this heaviness in ourselves. We should let it go. And we should 
have a rational thinking about things. And this is where spiritism comes in. And especially what Emmanuel is trying to tell us is obstacles that come into our hearts that sometimes are too much for us to bear. And that puts us in a mindset where, where we are not very forgiving sometimes. And we are not um, understanding of where or of what people are doing. It reads further. In the light of the good news, disciples find themselves before the master clothed in sanctifying obligations towards all people. So he's using this garment. He says, clothed in sanctifying obligations. So he's reminding us that we are incarnated with this obligation towards all people. And this is where the ego sometimes prohibits us prohibits us from from serving because and mostly the the feelings that we have are our own ego, ourself. And when we let that go and we look at the bigger picture, we will see that everybody is going through some things some day. And if we can get this bigger understanding, this more evolved understanding, we would know that and we would understand better. And this is where Jesus is the great example. Impediments to a victorious race appear almost every day. We frequently have to face them even in the least significant moment of our life. And that is true. We know that we are here because life isn't a heartbeat. It goes up, then it's good, and then it goes down, then it's good. Chikishabi reminded us that everything passes. That was the message he received from Mother Mary. And everything passes. So we know when we are on high and it's good, we know that there are still lessons coming. And that's a good thing if we remind ourselves that we are here to learn and if we don't have these lessons of forgiving of serving of helping regardless of what's going on in our life we are not going through school it, we are taking shortcuts <clears throat> we frequently have to face them even in the least significant moments of our lives an unexpected obstacle arises every hour it may be cold and intolerant family members. It may be dryness of the heart around us. It may be the husband that abandoned the, the family. It may be the wife who ran off to pursue inferior objectives. It may be the friend who deluded himself on the island of rest and relaxation, deciding to put off his journey for a while. It may be the co-worker that was taken away by death. It may be um, gracious hatred. It may be indifference toward the appeals of the good, the suit by ill will. The torment of strife, the good news, however, offers Christians the victory of divine glory. If we want to reach the finish line, let us put all obstacles aside and persevere in the race of love, light before and light before us. Obstacles. Emmanuel is saying there will be obstacles. We are not alone. We are practicing being together. And of course these obstacles will come to us because it's our obstacles only something that we perceive as um, in our own mind because we are not yet there to look over that to not even see that anymore but to see someone that is in a struggle that is hurting and if we can get ourselves open our eyes look for the good 
like we practice in our, our home with my granddaughter, is look for the good like a train. And we learn this from Vanessa Ansel, and that is wonderful. Do these things so that we can even inspire those around us. For every one of us, we'll have some obstacles. But if we look, if something happens that um, you feel that makes you heavy, look at it in a way as um, something to practice. That is like just stop. And this is how we get to know ourselves. So that we can see, okay, I'm still not okay with things this way. So and this is when we pray. Asking God to, and, the, and the spirits to help us so that we can let this go. And say thank you for this lesson. Don't get upset about it. Say thank you. Don't get upset about um for yourself or upset because you you feel that you are not supposed to get angry or upset about something because we are still here to learn. So forgive yourself. Do this wonderful affirmations and say, I let this go. I make myself light. I give this to God. There are so many things that we can do, but it is to be mindful of our feelings, of our thoughts, so that we can give this beautiful um, light out to others. So that we can learn to understand and be of service and so that we can be this runners that jump over these obstacles with grace and be light so thank you so much for joining me tomorrow it is the beginning of easter weekend and let's take our thoughts closer to jesus in a way of thankfulness for the lessons that he brings to the, the great spirits to us and even the, the, the great example of Easter. Thank you so much. Much God bless. Until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <coughs>